Welcome to Complexity Made Simple. My name is Paul Allen and before we get into today's video well I'm just going to remind you the three books that are on sale drink tea and read the paper if you're a green belt and a black belt and you want simple instruction on how to apply your skill design of experiments for 21st century engineers and finally a statistical process control for small batch production. They are all available from lulu.com and the links are in the video below. Welcome to the latest video newsletter and today what we're going to talk about well I'm going to respond to a request someone's made for me for me to, to give them a 5S audit sheet okay so do I have a standard 5s audit sheet uh, so John there's a video for you um, basically what I said is look I don't have a standard 5s audit sheet um, and I'm gonna give you my point of view on 5s audits in fact I'm gonna give you my point of view on audits full stop because what I've entitled this video is can we stop the audit madness so here's the point you do audits what do you do you do a 5s audit you might do a safety audit you do an ISO 9000 audit you do a customer audit I don't know if you feel into this kind of thing you might be NADCAP certified you might do a NADCAP audit you can add your own item onto that list and you do them all individually and here's the point can we stop first of all can we stop the audit madness please they are all they are all process audits therefore there is only one audit and it's a process audit that's it so the first thing I'm going to say to you is this please just have a process audit call it a process audit if you want to put a special line in for safety that would be a great thing to do but really all of these are process audits they are different to one another they're supposed to be making sure that your process is under control so that's the first thing let's have a process audit and cut the cut the waste this is all waste as far as I'm concerned so okay how should you do this well it would be my point of view the first thing before you do an audit is why don't you learn to make money so job one you have a process it's got inputs okay here it is your money making process things coming out here uh, how much money you make maybe customer satisfaction you can add some more KPIs to that if you want to so look this is your process inputs outputs Now if you want to make money, what have you got to do? Well, you've got to control the inputs. You've got to come up with standards for the inputs. That's what 5S gets you to do. You know? So you've got to come up with standards and rules and visualization. And it might not just be 5S. It could be done through TPM and other things to do with maintenance related standards. So lots of different standards. So what you want to do 
is first of all standards identify what they are and get this thing making pots and pots of cash like a Swiss watch and then build an audit to make sure that you keep doing that and just build the process audit then your audits will make bucket loads of cash because that's what they're supposed to do ask yourself a question does your ISO 9000 audits make cash right now and if the answer is no ask yourself why the hell are you doing it what the hell's it for make money with this thing so decide on best practice then visualize it and audit it now 5s is just a process to help you to do that the world-class companies know this so if you want to if you want to audit the elements if you want to put in there sort you know check have you got any extra spurious items that shouldn't be on your section yes yeah, that type of thing so you just you're just doing maintenance here sort set in order okay now it could be that the item that you've identified should be there it's a brand new tool it's something you bought brand new but you haven't yet made an area for it well that's okay what well, says it in order then so if you want to you know if you want to audit these things go right ahead but make make them about money making things put whatever makes money from here in this flipping audit and then don't call it a 5s audit just call it a process audit now step three here is maintenance I can't be doing I can't be doing with shine shine makes no sense cleaning up constantly cleaning up does it make any money does anybody love it maintenance is what this is about so when you've identified gangways you've identified um, stock levels and things like that all the labels start to wear off and the colors start to go and all that kind of thing starts to deteriorate step three shine what does it really mean it means keep everything in great condition it means maintenance so now audit it check are all the labels readable that type of thing maybe are all the standards visualized can you see them and read them and understand them so if you want to audit that that's great maintenance then of course you've got standardized so again same thing maybe you've got new material on the section and you just haven't indicated visually what the maximum and the minimum is and the replenishment uh, rules and things like that so if you if you want to go audit that that's great and finally of course the last step which is supposed to be sustain well it isn't sustain it's continuous improvement so is there evidence of any improvement activities going on in this area um, but in these five steps should be all of these so standards the standards and the maintenance are all these things here are all these things so your 5s audit potentially is a money-making monster it's there to make money but so is your ISO 9000 so is your NADCAP so is your, your safety audit they're all about maintaining standards why don't you write them all into one sensible process audit call it I'd even call it call it the money making audit and when the NADCAP guy turns up and he says have you done an audit give him the audit when the safety guy turns up and goes have you done an audit you give him the audit when the ISO guy turns up and says have you done an audit you give him the audit it's one audit you save yourself a bucket load of cash and your process makes money every day and I would prefer you to generate an audit which is money making specific to your company than to follow a, some kind of template that I have that's going to mean nothing to your all I can put on on my types of paperwork is generalisms you know have you swept up 
is there a dustpan and brushing the area that type of nonsense are standards um, are standards indicated at the point of activity well they're, they're very general and they don't mean anything it's much better if you say I have five raw materials on this section let's audit all five of them yeah so I've got I don't know I've got plastic I've got steel I've got nuts and bolts I've got uh, cleaning materials, paper wipes, things like that, and I've got personal protective equipment. They're the five things that make money on my area. You know what? They're on my audit. And they're very specific, and you audit them, and you always make sure that everything's in great condition, and you always make money. And it's, it's unique to you. The audits should be unique to you. They should be process audits, money-making process audits, and they should all work in every situation there. All of these things, by the way, NADCAP, ISO, 5S, what are they trying to make you do? They're trying to make you to be world class. We've just never understood that. Make money first, put the audits in place, and then satisfy the city certification bodies later. That's the greatest way to make cash. That is how to do a process audit.